Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So it's almost fall and we're starting to see all the Oktoberfest and pumpkin ales hitting the market. So for about the last four weeks or so, I've been picking up beers that I've either had in the past and really liked or things that I haven't had yet and I'd like to try. Take a look at what I have. So as you can see, there's a whole lot to choose from. Um, in the description of the video, you'll find all these beers listed by brewery. But as for today, here's what we're gonna have. Okay guys, so for Oktoberfest day eight, I have uh, three new beers. So Jack Latte from O'Fallon is my first beer uh, for today. I have not had this one. I do have another O'Fallon uh, uh, vanilla pumpkin ale that I have had and uh, that'll be coming up I think tomorrow. But um, we're gonna go ahead and pour this. This is a, uh, I don't know, a milk stout. So they check some boxes here. Hops, malt, coffee, pumpkin. Hopefully not too spicy. Um, by spicy I mean clove and nutmeg. Uh, a lot of these pumpkin beers uh, overdo it with the clove and the nutmeg and I don't like either of those uh, spices a whole lot especially if they're uh, a dominant flavor so let's give it a taste it's not bad actually that's pretty pretty good um, definitely get coffee on there I don't get a whole lot of hops but I, I don't really want a lot of hops in a beer like this so they don't stand out anyway. Um, I get like uh, chocolate, definitely get the pumpkin. I don't get a ton of spice, which is great because like I said, I don't do uh, clove or nutmeg in large quantities. Let's kill it and move on to the next one. Oh yeah, it's pretty good, pretty good. Better than I thought it was gonna be actually. So anyway, excuse me we'll be back here in a little bit for round two okay so my second choice of the night is going to be Pollyanna Oktoberfest um, I have not had this beer and so I don't know what to expect um, I chose this as number two just because the third beer is going to be the Rogue Pumpkin and I thought this would be a good palate cleanser um, just in case the uh, O'Fallon had like a lot of spice and it was I don't know, a taste I didn't want to have lingering uh, going into another pumpkin beer. So anyway, I chose to go this route. I haven't had this. Um, Pollyanna in general, you know, reasonably good beer for me. Um, although I can't think of anything right off the top of my head that sticks out that is something I buy on a regular basis. So, But I do buy their stuff when something catches my eye. So anyway, nice uh, little amber hue. Let's give it a try. Oh wow, it's different. Um, yeah, um, it's not real sweet. It just has the malt in it is weird. It's I don't know, and it also could be a little bit of uh, some lingering pumpkin flavor from the last beer, but. Uh, oh, by the way, I would uh, give the last beer a thumb, a thumb and a half. <laughs> the uh, O'Fallon, I thought that was good. I'd buy it again. Um, although every year I have like my go-tos, so so far I don't know if uh, I would add that to my go-to or not. But um, definitely I would pick it up again. Um, as far as this goes, the uh, Pollyanna, I give it a thumbs up. I mean, it's not uh, definitely not something I dislike. It's just different. It's real. Uh, it says it's an Oktoberfest lager, so I, I definitely drinks like a lager with uh, kind of like maybe a, a toasted malt uh, vibe to it. I don't get a lot of caramel or it's, it doesn't give me the, it's, it says here uh, clean, malty, and just dry enough. So 
I'd have to go with this pretty dry. I don't get a lot of sweetness. Um, not a lot of typical Oktoberfest flavor. So I guess maybe if you you like the uh, typical Oktoberfest, then maybe you wouldn't like this. I don't know. To me, it's drinkable. Uh, I probably would be unlikely to buy it again, but it's it's doable. <laughs> so cheers. Let's kill it. All right. We'll be back with the last and final beer of the evening. All right, so for the uh, third and final beer of our Oktoberfest day eight is Rogue uh, Pumpkin Patch Ale. Um, I had this already. I had to buy a four pack to get this, but um, it looked delicious and there wasn't a lot in stock. So I thought uh, small batch, the odds are it's probably pretty good. And uh, I was right. <laughs> um, it's a big company. I feel like, you know, usually when a big company makes something small batch, they're putting a lot of effort into it, uh, usually. I guess that could be totally generalizing, but look at that. Color's beautiful. Definitely a little uh, hazy, I would say. It's not clear, but uh, looks great. I smell the pumpkin. Let's give it a try. The pumpkin's so good on this, like, just the right amount of sweetness, like, it's so much like, <laughs> like liquid pumpkin pie, it's really good, really, really good. Um, <clears throat> that's probably like getting close, it's two thumbs up for sure, but it's definitely getting close to the territory of my favorite pumpkin, which, uh, my favorite pumpkin beer. I'm going to save for the final day, so day 10 you'll get uh, what is my current favorite pumpkin beer, although like I say, this is giving it a run for its money. Uh, this is extremely good, but uh, let's go ahead and kill it. Cheers. <sighs> oh, yeah, the pumpkin's great, hint of spice, and there's like this little sweet sweet little finish on it. It's not like an overwhelming sweetness, but it's just like just the right amount of uh, sweet to go with the pumpkin. Very uh, <clears throat> very good. Anyway guys, uh, th that wraps up uh, Oktoberfest week 8. Or day 8. Ooh, <laughs> I have another. Yeah, so day 8. So day 9 <clears throat> should be a little more pumpkin beer. So Oktoberfest, it's kind of what uh, 9 and 10 are going to be. Basically, we're going to wrap it up with kind of a mix of pumpkin <clears throat> oh, excuse me, <laughs> and Oktoberfest. So anyway, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.